Hello, I'm going to go over this problem of uh, finding the volume of this tetrahedron shape. Um, so let's jump right into it. The first thing that I'm going to do is um, consider slicing this like this. Let me move it over. I'm going to put a little slice right here and get this kind of triangle right there. Um, and so I'm imagining there being some very little distance traveled along in this direction. So I'm going to integrate with respect to x here in this problem. Um, so the formula for the volume of one of these little slices is going to be the area of a triangle uh, times the thickness of that little slice right there, dx. So what I need to do is figure out what the area of that triangle is. So the area is going to be 1 half the base times the height. Yeah, so that right there is the base and that right there is the height. So if I can just come up with formulas for the base and the height in terms of x, um, then I'll be done. I'll just need to integrate this to set it up. Okay, so uh, let me look what's going on in just the xy plane here, and I think that that's going to let me uh, figure out a formula for b in terms of x. All right, so... Uh, here's the x-axis, and here's the y-axis, and uh, we get this kind of line right here, and then according to the diagram, this distance is 5 and that distance is 4, and here's our little slice right there, dx. And um, so that means that this point right here is the point 5, 0, and then over here I have the point uh, 0, 4. Okay, so obviously this line has negative slope. Um, and uh, it's going to be the rise over the run. Um, so when I look at this line, I see a slope of negative four-fifths, right? The rise over the run. Okay, and also I can just read the y-intercept off right there. Um, is 0, 4, so that's it. I'm done, right? The, the equation of this line is going to be y is negative four-fifths x plus 4. Okay, sweet. So what that means is for each fixed value of x, this distance right here is given by that equation. And if we follow this blue line back to the original picture, that's this distance right there. So what that means is, is that the uh, base is going to be, in terms of x, negative 4 fifths x plus 4. Okay, so now all I need to do is figure out what the height is. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just label this axis the z-axis. And then I can look at this picture in the, uh, the um, x-z plane. So I'm just looking at just this piece of information right here. Okay, so again, I get a line, but this time it's a little bit more shallow, right? Because according to the diagram, the uh, height right here is 3, and then this distance is still 5. Um, so as before, I have some small slice right here, dx. And then this point is going to be the point 5, 0, and that point right there is going to be the point 0, 3. Okay, so now I can write the equation of this line. So that means this line here is, obviously the slope is negative, and it's going to be the rise over the run, and then the y-intercept there is 3. Fantastic. So that means that the height uh, of this triangle, right, if we trace this line back, it goes right there on the original picture. So that means the height of this triangle in terms of x is um, negative 3 fifths x plus 3. So that's it. That means that uh, the area is going to be 1 half times the base. Uh, that's this distance right here, and that's that distance right there, which we worked out to be this formula. So what is it? Negative 4 fifths x plus 4. And uh, the height is what we just worked out in terms of z z and x, so negative 3 fifths x plus 3. Awesome. So now we need to do here is set up the final integral. Um, so we've sliced this um, perpendicular to the x-axis, so that means x is the variable in integration here. 
So the total volume of this um, tetrahedron is going to be some integral in terms of x. Okay, so which x's give us a triangle that's in the picture? I mean, obviously, if I pick some x over there, then that triangle is not going to be in the picture. And if I pick some x over there, that triangle is not going to be inside the picture. So the, all the x's that we care about here are these x's right here. Those are the x's between 0 and 5. So x is going to go from 0 up to 5. Um, and then the formula for the area of each one of these pieces. Um, so that's the base, and then here's the height. Uh, and then you got to multiply by the thickness, so that's dx. So that's it. So work out that integral, um, and uh, that'll give you the total volume of this tetrahedron. Um, let me know if you have questions.